Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamara, T to the Y to the M to the A R X. All right, today we want to see, are you on the right path? So, Spirit, please give me a message for Sagittarius Collective. We want to see if they're on the right path. Please help them out. Please help me speak 11 truth. Please use me as a vessel. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. All right. It's Sagittarius on the right path. So, remember, this is a collective reading. And if you want to, this is a collective reading. And if you want a personal reading, please check out bandtomorrow.com at the link in the description box below. All right. First question. Who is Sagittarius right now? Who are they right now? So who is Sagittarius right now, Spirit? We have the Hierophant. Followed by... The Hierophant followed by the Seven of Cups in reverse. And the Strength card in the upright. I feel like you're a person who are who is highly committed to their either you are committed to your marriage. If you are married, you're committed to your commitments, whatever this is. Like I feel like you're a loyal type of person with the higher thing coming out. You are a person that people tend to look up to. You're connected to your religious beliefs, your spirituality, your knowledge. Like the person you are is a person who has a lot of knowledge. You're a person who's into in education. You're into learning. You are a student of life. You're into belief systems. Like, you believe what you believe. And people can't help you. Like, you don't waver from that. When you have a strong thought process or you strongly believe something, that's what it is. You believe it. At the same time, it seems like even though you hold a lot of values and you're very loyal and committed, it seems like there's still this energy here where you tend to make some type of poor choices or sometimes you feel like this could be in reference to your emotions or your feelings towards love and relationships or trust in people. And it's like you're trying to overcome this self-doubt. You're trying to overcome these emotions or feelings that you get with dealing with people. Dealing with people, dealing with situations. I feel like sometimes you can get into your emotions, even though you have the strength card coming out here, which lets me know you're a strong person. So you're giving me the energy of a person who puts on a strong face that maybe people don't even know that you are an emotional person or that something has harmed you in the inside because you seem tough or hard on the outside. Like you have this tough exterior. But inside, there's either a lot of confusion or maybe before you may, uh, you tend to make some poor choices in reference to the people that you choose to love, but you tend to be very commit, you're a committed person or you're a loving person. You're a very knowledgeable person and you're giving me the energy of a knowledgeable person, but who don't follow the knowledge that they have sometimes because of their love for people. Let's say if you are in a relationship or you're supporting someone and your belief is, I'm going to save $50 by Friday. But then next thing you know, somebody comes in and say, hey, can I borrow Can I borrow $49? And because of your love for this person, you give them the $49 and you done made a wrong, you done made a poor choice. And now this person has not returned your money. And now you feel some type of way about it, but they would never know it because of your commitment to people. Like you have the knowledge to do something, but sometimes you tend to make poor choices or your mind gets crowded by the love that you have for people that you truly care about. There's also this energy, too, where you have all these choices. Now, for some of you, there's also this energy where you have all these choices. You have a lot of knowledge. There's so much you want to do, but you don't know which way to go. So there's this energy where you're trying to overcome this self-doubt. We're going through with something, like choosing something and going through with it. There could be seven choices out here. Or there was something you were supposed to do back in July for some of you. Or May or August. And it's like you have so many options, so many choices to make, but you're just still trying to overcome this self-doubt and like tap into this inner strength to go for it with something is what I'm getting. Let's clarify this energy spirit. What else to clarify this energy? You're in this energy of breaking patterns. So who are you? You are a person who likes to break patterns. So even though... Even though you are a person who is very committed, you're committed to your beliefs, you're committed to your knowledge. The reason why you are committed to your beliefs and your knowledge is because you believe in breaking 
you believe in breaking patterns. You could be somebody that's in a long-term committed relationship. You could be someone who got a divorce. And the reason why you got a divorce is because you're like, I'm going to break this pattern. I saw this and I saw certain signs of things that happened when I was younger or certain things I don't like or I don't care what anybody else would tolerate. I'm not going to tolerate this. So this could be in a relationship dynamic. This could have been in a marriage and maybe you, you could have divorced somebody. This is also, also this energy here where somebody could have had a possible drinking problem. And you overcame this by ending this drinking problem with all these cups out here. This is like somebody stopped drinking. Maybe you don't drink, you don't smoke because I'm seeing a cloud and I'm seeing a cup. So you don't drink anymore, you don't smoke anymore for some of you. This is a pattern that you want to break. I feel like the reason why you're doing this is because you became spiritual. Because we have spiritual coming out in the reverse. And give me one more to clarify this energy of who is Sagittarius. You also is a you're also a person who you're going to save yourself. You're saving yourself because you're trying to heal your wounds. So you're working on yourself. It's taking a lot for you to tap into that inner strength. You're in this energy where I'm going to work on me. Look, we came out here again at the bottom of the deck. Spiritualist. We have spiritualists out here and spiritual. So you could be a spiritualist or you could be very spiritual. And you are a person who has who had a lot of wounds in your life. It was, has been very challenging. But because of your spirituality or your spiritual connection, you are breaking this. This is you. People seeing you show up as being a person full of strength. Very strong. Taming that beast within. You having more control over your emotions. I feel like something about you changed. With the Seven of Cups, this is a person who like had was not in control of their emotions. But now you are more level-headed. You're more in control of your emotions. You're releasing a lot. I feel like you have a lot of clarity now. You're overcoming. You're overcoming a lot. And I see that you are an influential person as well. There's a repeated pattern here that's going on. Investing in yourself at the bottom of the deck with saving yourself. So you save yourself. You are a person that's going to put your needs above someone else's. You don't care who you have to walk away from. That's your inner strength is that you will walk away from something if it requires you to save yourself. If somebody is interrupting your peace, breaking your peace, disturbing it. If someone seems negative, you're going to walk away from it and you don't mind investing in yourself. This is um, education-wise. Money, finances, like I'm getting the energy of a person who doesn't mind taking risks when you invest in yourself. You, you're going to bet on you every day, all day. That's what I'm getting. All right, so who are you? That's who you are, Sagittarius. So let's see. So spirit, is Sagittarius on the right path at this time? Is Sagittarius on the right path? Yes, you are on the right path. You're coming out, Page of Cups. You're on the right path. You're doing what, you're, what you love. With a Page of Cups, this is a person that trusts their intuition. But I feel like it's either this energy is coming towards you or you're newly on this path. This is you newly being on a path that you love with the Page. The Page is like somebody that's young. So you're new. You're like <laughs> you're like in kindergarten or elementary school when it comes to you connecting to your intuition or you connecting to your path. It's like you love what you do. You're trying to find comfort in your life. You could be in your soft guy era, soft girl era, if soft guy is a thing. But you could be tapping into that divine masculine, divine feminine energy. You are in this energy where you just want to be more kind. You're learning to trust your intuition. You're coming up with good ideas and you want to act on those ideas. You want to work on it. You could be a psychic. You're learning to be more quiet. Some of you could be introverted. When it comes to you being on the right path, this is the path that you're meant to be on. But Spirit is saying yes. This is you watering your cup. This is you, especially it's a fish here. So I feel like you are listening to your spirit guides. You're listening to your ancestors. You're listening to higher source. This is you listening. Because as you see, the attention is on this fish. So you're doing something you love and you're learning to listen to something outside of yourself. And I feel like this is your intuition. This is what keeps you level-headed and balanced when it comes to your emotions. Okay, so Spirit, what's the main obstacle standing in Sagittarius' way at this moment? What's the main obstacle then? Your main obstacle right now is learning to remain calm in the midst of storms and when things happen. And also... They are wanting you to keep some things quiet. Keep it close to the chest. Keep it to yourself. 
So when something, okay, let me see what else. I want to see. Remain in calm in reference to what spirit? As I said, this is what's your main obstacle. The way these cards just flew out there. Remain in calm in reference to what spirit? Remain in calm when it comes to somebody throwing negativity towards you or remaining calm when you feel like like there's this strong need sometimes you feel like like people are stabbing you in the back back you feel like somebody unhates you did something to you so for some of you you are needing to remain calm and protect yourself because sometimes it could be a spiritual war out there if you feel like somebody did something wrong to you maybe some witchcraft or some left hand work or did something or even just saying bad words over your name just cursing your name somebody speaking ill will sending you the evil eye any of that stuff they are telling you to protect yourself so remain calm and just protect yourself. You don't have to voice it to everyone and say, so-and-so did what? They said this, they did that. They telling you, no, keep quiet about it. Remain calm, just protect yourself. Cut out the negativity. You could be saying number 66 or somebody could be born 1966 or somebody could be 66 years old. Six plus six equals a 12. 12 breaks down to being a three. So this has something to do with the community. So if you feel like in a community or when it's other people outside of you, whether this is somebody, there's this community group, sometimes you feel like either people are like, you have to protect yourself when it comes to you being out in a community. So some of you, I just heard Walmart. <laughs> I don't know why, but I heard Walmart. Like if somebody feels like they go to Walmart and they feel all these bad energies, like you could just sense something, something feels uncomfortable. When you go out in the community, they are telling you just remain calm, don't panic, don't have anxiety, just protect yourself and protect your energy. Like, just protect yourself when it comes to this negativity. So that way you don't call some type of destruction on yourself from seeing things, speaking things. Because you know it's powering your tongue. And you're strong. You have a strong tongue, Sagittarius. I feel like they're telling you to keep quiet for a reason. Because you could just say things and, boop, it's going to happen. Because you connected with your intuition. You're a psychic. You're a spiritualist. So they're trying to help you out. So that seems to be your challenge here. It's like your main obstacle that's standing in your way. Learning to remain calm in the midst of situations. Okay, what circumstances are in Sagittarius' favor and helping them out? So what's the circumstances in their favor? What's in here? What's helping them out? Let's see. You have the eight of wands. That's your energy, Sash. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and look, eight. And then we had a seven of pentacles at the bottom of the day. So look, what circumstances are in your favor and help you out? It's the fact that you're a quick thinker. You take action when something happens. You get a, a nudge about something. You're going to do it. It's the fact that you know how to be patient. You are making investments in yourself. You're working on yourself. You're making invest you could be in making some type of investments that in the long term is going to pay off. This could be dividends, money, stock, investing in yourself, education-wise, buying a house, uh, investing in the right type of relationships, doing something that's going to cause you to invest in yourself, and it's going to wind up growing and manifesting into something else. You have a lot of you are action oriented. I feel like you have this speed about yourself. When something happens and you feel like something feels like it's a good investment, you're going to take that risk. You're going to invest in yourself. And that's kind of what's beneficial here. That's what helps you out. It's like you're not you're not giving me slug energy or slow energy, snail energy. You're giving me the energy of a hare, of a rabbit. You're going to jump into action and do something quickly. You'll jump on the opportunity when it happens. And I feel like there's an opportunity right now that you're investing in that you got on it quickly and this is what's helping you out because you sent something and it's, it's almost like bitcoin when bitcoin started back in what 2004 or whatever it was somebody jumped in it they wasn't thinking about it contemplating it's like let me put 20 dollars in it and they wind up paying off so there's something that's happening at this moment that you're investing in and in the future it's going to later pay off because you made the right investment whatever this is is allowing you to have more freedom you could be traveling or for you, it's just like an exciting time right now. It may, something may feel hard or rough, but it's an exciting time for you. You're getting some type of momentum. You're gaining your momentum. Something is starting to take off for you. And this could help with your inheritance. This is ideas or goals that you're investing in. This is something that you're growing. It's in a gestational period. It means you're birthing something. 
and soon you're going to get to just watch it manifest you're going to watch it grow this could be with a taurus that's coming out sagittarius and taurus possibly something is in this energy of starting to mature so they're telling you to have patience and continue planning but also taking action steps it's the action and the planning and the action being patient with something let's clarify this spirit This investment here, wow, we have third eye coming out in reverse, psychic in reverse, medium in reverse. I feel like you are meant to, you're taking action towards something where you are meant to be a, either a medium or psychic or tap into that third eye. Like this is the momentum or something that you're getting, you're progressing in. I feel like you're strengthening your intu intuitive gifts. Rather, this is like, you're learning to meditate and you're getting good at it. You're learning to trust your intuitions you're learning to receive downloads it's not quite there but it's getting there you're getting close this is where it says your hard work will be playing paying off this is how you're going to be freed from something number 77 could be important here you'd be seeing that number it's a lucky number you're giving me the energy of somebody who thinks on their feet and you're hard working Okay, please clarify the spirit. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, Taurus came out here. I feel like because you are making movement or action, you're actually helping this Earth sign out. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they could be working with you. But at the same time, this earth sign, they haven't fully woken their spiritual gifts. So they're going to be waking up their spiritual gifts. This could be someone you, you have children with because we have parents coming out. This earth sign could be your parent, your mother, your father, your grandparent. I'm also getting this energy too. You could be getting looked at. If somebody has a deceased parent or a deceased grandparent, they are looking at you from the other side. They're protecting you from this follower or a copycat or somebody that's trying to mock you. You know, sometimes people tend to be out here scamming people. They're trying to protect you from somebody that's trying to take credit for what you do or watching everything you do. So these parents are protecting you or looking after you from somebody that's like watching everything you're doing. They're trying to protect your investments because somebody was trying to mock you or do something or interfere into this inheritance. So you're being protected. And this is serving you, the fact that you have this protection from your spirit, guys. Now, that's what I'm feeling like. This got to be an ancestor that's either a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that's on the other side that's protecting you. This is either your adopted parent, a biological parent, a mother, father, or a grandparent, or somebody who you consider to be a mother, also a mother figure, but like a, a person who actually looked after you, like a foster parent or somebody that... You know, you have that late, that neighbor, they're real nice and kind. I'm like, when you was growing up as a kid, they transitioned, so they they could be possibly deceased. But they looked after you when you was a kid, and you like, I love Miss Helen. I, I love Miss Robin. She was, yeah, she was almost like a second mom. That person is looking after you from the other side. So they're protecting you from somebody who tends to watch everything you do. They're protecting you from negative dark entities or energies. Because look, it's like you see these dark clouds that's coming out here, copycat ahead. They're coming out on the other side. They try to, in a, yeah, that's what I'm feeling like. They try to interfere with your third eye or your psychic. I don't know. They could have been sending you psychic attacks or some type of attack or trying to pierce into your life and see what you have going on. But your parents are protecting you. Whoever this person is, that's this earth sign. And that's what's helping you out. Okay. It took a while to get into that. It's like I was trying to tap into it. So lastly, how can, how can Sagittarius make progress to move forward in their life spirit? What can they do to make progress and move forward in their life? What can they do to make progress and move forward in their life? Look at you. Nine of Pentacles. Yes, you went from the seven to the nine. 
it says maintain your independence. What you can do to make progress, maintain your independence. Focus on having a financial stability and security. You want to profit from what you're doing. You want to profit from your gifts. You want to profit from your talents. You're going to have prosperity. You're made to have wealth. Nine of Pentacles is the energy of a person who has wealth. And this is you receiving some type of rewards after your hard work. So it may be hard now, but they keep saying it's going to pay off in the long run. Long run. Because you have a lot of wisdom. You want to have status. You're going to have a thriving business. And we have freedom coming out here several times. This is you indulging in this freedom. This is you indulging in everything that you sacrifice. As long as you remain consistent. This is you having independent wealth. It won't be based off of nobody else but you and your wealth and your, like your sacrifice. This is coming from you working, having achievement and success. Look, with the ant coming out to clarify that. You give me the energy of being a like a worker right now. You're just constantly going, doing this, doing that. But at the same time, it's going to pay off. You want to be traveling. You could be possibly retiring early. So they're saying if you feel like that there's a problem coming your way, they want to warn you. We have the finger energy coming out. Warning, you are, it says warning, you. Okay, it says warning you of a problem either now or in the future. So yes, so you may be going through a problem now or in the future. But at the end of the day, as long as you continue to work hard, um, overcome this, focus on your success, it's going to work out as long as you like have this focus on this financial security and your stability. Don't let anything come in that's going to distract you because you see how the energy tried to come in. But stay focusing on what tends to be your great passion here with the tulip energy coming out. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Victory in your endeavor. Yes. Let it be. Somebody's name to be with a V. First, middle, last name will live or live around. You could live in Vermont, Virginia, something. Somebody's name could be Veronica, Victor. You're going to have victory in your success. As long as you stay focused on what brings you great passion and continue working hard. And if you feel like like they're warning you that something may be a problem now, now or in the future, but don't let it break you down. It says things will not always be this way. A change is coming. It's not going to always be this way. Just continue moving. Look like they're letting you know right now, Sagittarius, here. You sitting here looking like a caterpillar, but you're going to manifest and turn into a beautiful butterfly. But right now you're in the caterpillar stage. You're in the caterpillar stage. So this is all I have for you. If anything resonated, please leave me a message down below and I'll see you next time. Take care.